In this one, you can have as many as you want. You can make phase, phase distortion, which is the fancy term for, for FM modulation with a wave table synth, uh, oscillator. But it doesn't end there. You can have more stuff, more, more things modulating each other. So I think this uh, I know, goes the extra mile in terms of, of FM modulation as, I don't know, uh, maybe an FM7, FM8 from native instruments will. But those are a specific uh, synthesizers for that specific type of synthesis. Uh, this one kind of uh, has everything. No, you can do everything. So I'm gonna. You can see here I added the output, but the, the output was already there by default. But whatever you add after that in the group will not have an output. You see here the arrow is telling me that it, this is going to the lane, the output. <coughs> and, and these ones are not. These ones are, are doing nothing actually right now. But we could uh, do some frequency modulation. And also we can have some phase distortion from this one as well. But we could Relating this could be fun as well. Base is uh, random by default. I don't know how to change. I don't remember how to change that. But this this face is not random. By default. One of the few synthesizers out there that doesn't have a random face. The factory tables are really good. There's some really nasty ones. What did I do? I like it, we can add a distortion. Here. It still remains uh, playable in terms of keys and everything. Like If you want to go the wobble route, good idea to modulate the volumes of these guys. So we don't have to modulate the amount of FM they are spitting out, but well, as soon as you modulate the volumes, putting them in and out will give you that wobble effect. It's pretty nasty stuff. We have the polyphony legato thing here if we want to go the mono route. What a sick machine. Yeah, it is a sick machine. And uh, we can try some filterings. Uh, 
The phaser is really good. Um, Was it this phaser? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about this phaser. Not bad, but. So um, clean this guy as it is. We can create a copy or a variation of this. Um, Bye. Variation of this, maybe something like that to open up, but. Um, if we want to go with, for something more uh, rhythmic. We could um, add to this some random synchronize 116 to uh, unipolar to move this guy as well. To move it in such a way with such depth that it will make it go Super high sometimes and make it make the sound disappear. Not very rhythmical, I don't know why. Another way to create rhythm with this, not only with the filter, the filter sometimes it's not enough, but we could um, put more uh, 16th notes instead of one long note, like this, and um, and have some kind of random on this, on the sustain of it, that will give it like this, and, um, a lot of rhythm. Maybe not the same random, we can duplicate randoms, like holding control, right? And uh, this will only duplicate the device, but not the route in the device had. So in this way we could modulate some sustain, sustain levels. I have two different randoms, this is going to generate a different pattern than this one. Which I think it's worth in this case. I have no idea what sometimes it's just not sinking. Might be an older version I have from Flipping.
I'm not gonna modulate the sustain, but the decay. Decay is better. And the other problem I'm having here is that this is 1 8 instead of 1 16th. That I didn't realize until now. so loud Jesus so if you want to keep watching more of this uh, sound design with a face plant there is a bundle together with the uh, two volumes uh, it includes the 128 presets plus one hour of the of this uh, recording um, it's available on my Gamrod store you can find the link in the video description all right that's it for today's video I hope you guys liked it uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. I'll see you on the next one.